Ladies and gentlemen, aviation geeks and frequent flyers. My name is David and today we're flying out of Dubai, a city which hasn't been featured too much in our recent episodes of Brutally Honest at all. Don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, we will be flying aboard Emirates Boeing 777-300ER. Having a fleet of more than 120 of them, they are by far the largest operator of this type on the planet, with Qatar Airways coming in second at only 52, and Air France and Cathay Pacific tied for third at 43. All three of which have been featured on our channel before, of course. After all, our mission at Simple Aviation is to provide first-hand reports of as many different planes as possible, so make sure you are subscribed to join our journey. And today's trip is special to me personally, because Emirates 777 was the plane featured in my first ever trip report all the way back in 2012. So 10 years later, let's see how their economy product holds up and how our video quality has evolved as well. Our trip begins in the lively Banias neighborhood of Dubai. I always like to stay in Dubai's old town because it has the most authentic and affordable restaurants and it's well connected with public transit. After all, I'm a big believer in public transport, which I use to get to airports as often as I can. Luckily in Dubai, the red metro line connects all major parts of the city directly with terminals 1 and 3 of DXB. However, if you're departing from terminal 2, which is the case with many leisure and low-cost airlines, or from Dubai's World Central Airport, those are not connected to the metro network. The building which houses Emirates' main check-in area looks different than most other airports' departure halls. You might have noticed all the columns. That's because we're right beneath this taxiway at the moment, so there might be an Airbus A380 above our heads as we speak. This means that airplanes can taxi all the way around the terminal, making airport operations more reliable and Emirates has repeatedly been listed amongst the most punctual airlines in the Middle East. And our flight to Hamburg is no exception to that, being perfectly on time today and operated by A6ENX, a 2014 build Boeing 777-300ER. Emirates 777 is a bit of an outlier amongst major network carriers these days, in that it still doesn't offer all its business class passengers direct aisle access, and due to its 232 configuration even has some middle seats in business class. Emirates Boeing 777 fleet also doesn't have a premium economy section, so right behind business class you'll find 5 rows of economy, then another galley, and then the cabin section will be in today. I chose a window seat right before the second last door, which is 36A. Waiting on the seat already is a pillow, but notably absent is a blanket. They were available upon request, but I'm still surprised they're not provided on every seat as they were on my flight to Vienna just a couple months prior. The legroom is okay, being 180 centimeters tall, I don't have any issues with that, and there is a standard seat back pocket. Emirates is known for their fantastic in-flight entertainment system, which also means large, state-of-the-art touchscreens. A few planes in their fleet still feature smaller, older screens, but they too come with Emirates' enormous library of movies and TV shows, which can be watched on demand. Beneath the screen, you will find a remote control with a little touchscreen, as well as a USB port and a personal universal power outlet. Beneath that, a code hook, and on the back of the tray table, a cup holder. The tray tables can be used half opened or fully opened. Before takeoff, the crew also handed out headphones, fresh face masks,
today's flight to Hamburg is surprisingly empty, with just over 70 passengers aboard. This video was recorded right before Christmas, which is why you might have faintly heard Feliz Navidad in the background during boarding. The Christmas spirit also touches Emirates in-flight catering every year. A little more than an hour into the flight, the crew started the main meal service. Of course, I went with the holiday meal option, which was roasted turkey with sweet pumpkin mash, potato dumplings and peas, served alongside an orzo salad, chocolate mousse with mandarin compote, to drink a cup of water and I also went with a can of beer, as well as a warm bread roll with butter, and some crackers and cheese. An elegant meal service, also because Emirates still offers metal cutlery in economy class. This was in all honesty one of the best economy class meals I have tried so far, but unfortunately you can only enjoy it in the month of December. During that time you can also enjoy hot cocoa and traditional mulled wine in the days leading up to Christmas on select routes. Emirates offers such themed meals and service elements quite often, including on Valentine's Day, during Thanksgiving on flights to the US, Oktoberfest on flights to Germany, the Rio Carnival on flights to Brazil, cherry blossom season on flights to Japan, and of course the many different religious holidays in the Islamic world and in South Asia. After the meal it was time to simply enjoy the flight. Watching the sunset, the fake stars sparkling in the ceiling, and the views over the snow-covered mountains of Turkey. You will find a self-service snack bar with savory biscuits or Kit Kats, as well as a small selection of beverages in the galleys. Emirates 777s also come with in-flight Wi-Fi, though you have to pay even for the messaging options, which is provided for free on some of their competitors. Before landing, another beverage and snack service was provided, where I went with a can of ginger ale and a bag of salted popcorn. Ladies and gentlemen, the right kind of popcorn. Hashtag Team Salted Popcorn. Then it was time to start our descent into Hamburg. And I once again have to admit, Emirates is worth its price. They're rarely the cheapest option and their product doesn't really justify paying considerably more, but a bit more than the cheapest competitor might actually get you some additional quality and professionalism that might well be worth your buck. So with that, thank you very much for watching and coming along today and special thank you to all of those who support us by being channel members and help us keeping our videos free from all that VPN BS. I'll see you again next week for another episode of our review series Brutally Honest, which will continue until we have all airlines covered, so make sure you're subscribed to come along that journey. Thanks again and have a great day.